Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So we are in the process of packing up. So yes, um, as you can see here, who chaps, look at a mess. Yes, but anyway, yeah, just getting rid of a lot of stuff. Got my boxes put to the side. My husband has been taking out the trash that we're not going to keep. And there he is. He's um, doing a great job of just, you know, working. Because we got to be out of here by Wednesday. And today is Sunday. So, yes, I'm just, y'all, tomorrow is closing day. It's been a long time coming. But, um, yeah, so I'm excited. And as y'all can see in the background, um, I got a bunch of paper towels and tissue I am a couponer. I do love to coupon. Um, when we move in our house and get everything set up, I'll show you my little stockpile that I have. But um, I got so much stuff back there on the floor. Um, some stuff back here. Like back here on the floor is stuff that I bought last year for Black Friday that I said I was not going to open until we moved in our home. And this is the week. So, yes. But, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to come check in with you guys. Today is April the 12th, and today is Resurrection Sunday, y'all. Happy Resurrection Sunday. I know that things are different this year because of this worldwide pandemic with the COVID-19, but the Bible says to count it all joy. So count it all joy. We can't go fellowship with one another in church, but we can fellowship via online. He, the devil can't stop that. We can still watch um, Resurrection Sunday service online. You know, we can still, um, if you want to, dress your kids up in their Easter dresses, Easter suits, prepare their speeches, let them speak, upload it on Instagram, YouTube, whatever. But don't allow what's going on in the world right now to steal your joy. So I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Bye. There he is right there. He just came from outside. Working very, very hard. Say hey to the people. What's going on, people? <laughs> Hello. So today is April the 13th, 2020. And today is closing day. So we are actually getting ready to head to our closing. So, um, yeah. Here's my husband. How's everybody doing? <laughs> and our son is in the back seat hiding. So, but yeah. I'm so excited. We're so excited. So yeah, we'll see you shortly. Bye. Hey y'all, so I made it. Me and my husband made it to where we're going to be closing. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys how it looks. So this is the tent that we're going to be up under. And those two white tables, I guess that's where we're going to be sitting at. So yes. This is not the traditional way, but right now it's the safest way to go. So yes, we are super excited. It's kind of surreal right now, but um, it's about to happen. We just pulled up waiting until 1230 because that's what time our closing is. So I'm not sure if somebody will come out or if they'll call me or if I need to call. But yeah, guys, it's almost that time. Y'all. We just signed the papers. <laughs> we just literally signed our life away <laughs> for the next 30 years. We didn't but sign our life away, guys. We didn't. We, did. <laughs> <laughs> we signed our life on to a new investment. Camera's right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, so now we're waiting for the the seller to send over their documents and also for Bank of America to approve the documents that we signed to make sure everything is good to go. So we're just waiting and hopefully it won't be too much longer. So we have to go out to the subdivision where we're moving to to get our keys. So unfortunately we don't get the keys at the table after signing. So, but yeah, and I didn't record any of that process because um, it's a lot of bugs flying out here and yeah, I, I just didn't want to do that. So, but yes, we are almost officially first-time home buyers. Yep, yep, yep. That is amazing. Yep. 
You know, we got to haul all this stuff in, guys. <laughs> Me, myself, and I. No, I'm just kidding. We've been a good team, and I'm proud of us. I can say that. Amen. Basically packed up just about everything in our apartment. And as you can see behind me, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark, but um, this is the U-Haul truck. And it's just me and my husband, just us. We didn't keep a lot of the stuff as far as furniture wise because we're getting new stuff. So um, right now we're just unloading everything off the truck and we're just putting it inside and we're going to deal with everything later. So yes, but it's moving day and super, super excited. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Talk to you later. Hey guys, today is, what's today? April 15th, y'all, I am super tired. I mean, we have been moving our stuff faithfully and consistently since Sunday. We started loading everything on a truck on Sunday. And we finally took the U-Haul to our house and everything that we kept, we were unable to load everything off of the truck yesterday. Let me get some better light and it's kind of dark in here. Um, and we were up to about 12, one o'clock doing that. And so we were like, we can't stop. We got to get this stuff off this truck because we had to return it today before nine. So we were able to do that. And so that all worked out. Now my apartment is basically um, pretty much empty. The only thing we have left to do is to transport a microwave and one big box and the food that we took out our refrigerator and the freezer. And that's it. So yes, I'm, I'm super excited y'all to be setting up my new house so yeah word of mouth neck is a good program it's just that the program is tedious and you have to be consistent and you have to stay on them stay on top of them and just remain diligent and at most of all be patient so yeah just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what's going on so i will talk to you later bye